love our parks. This is one of five uh, that's taking place being funded by the Parks Department, uh, by the Complete Communities uh, Improvement Farm, and, and in partnership on this particular park, Zuri Malone Park, with Chenier uh, Company. Certainly want to give a big shout out to Chenier. It's supporting these local uh, neighborhood parks, about 377. This is the first. What's great about this park is that it is a community park and the community can come out and enjoy the outside in a wonderful, brand new environment. And it was really, really phenomenal to see the young basketball players already taking advantage of it. And so I'm really looking forward to great things and great activities coming out of this park. Brings us together and uh, it's, it's just hope for all communities. And uh, we're, we're, you know, we've been in fighting COVID and all that, but uh, hopefully more people can keep getting vaccinated and we can open these parks up for the kids because that's what it's really about. Good for the kids, you know, so they can have some, some place to play, especially like right now, you know, it's not school or nothing, you know, they can have some place where, where they can go better than being here and being in the streets. The Love Our Parks Complete Communities Initiative is one way I'm trying to more equitably invest in parks all over the city so that parks that need more love and attention get more Im improvements to make sure they look their best and can offer the very best to the residents who use them every day. No community, no neighborhood, no kid, no family are to feel as though they are less than. And one way of making sure that we lift all of the uh, people in this city is to invest in these local neighborhood parks that oftentimes don't feel or get the love they rightfully need. That's yesterday's news in the new city. In the new city, we love all of the people in our city and we wanna uplift everyone in these neighborhoods.